So I'm going to double tap my Apple logo, and you can see it does that. What's up everyone, this is All I Talk is Tech, and Apple has done an incredible job with iOS 14. So, in this video, I'm going to be focusing on mainly Siri shortcuts and how Apple has incredibly increased the way that you can utilize this incredible software on your iPhone. So, it's been noted that since iOS 12, Apple released Siri shortcuts with the official release of iOS 12. I firmly believe that Siri Shortcuts is probably the most powerful software on the iPhone, and yet Apple doesn't market it at all. I find that very interesting. And so, with the introduction of iOS 13, Apple increased the way that you can utilize Siri Shortcuts on your iPhone by setting it up so it can automatically activate shortcuts at certain times of the day, at certain gestures on your iPhone, or if you open up a certain app, it'll run a certain shortcut. So shortcuts has been greatly, greatly improved upon since iOS 13. And iOS 14 is no slouch to that standard that Apple has set. So obviously you can see that on my home screen, I have my shortcuts, which this is not what the video is about. Obviously this is really cool. I like how they implemented this, but there's something much more greater that I really want to show you guys that can actually make your iPhone experience like 50 times better. I just know I was wowed when I saw this. So Apple has a feature called back tap, and this is probably my favorite feature. This is probably the reason I'm not going to go to a jailbroken device, just because I really love this feature. Not everyone will be passionate about it, I just think it's the coolest thing. So back tap is your iPhone uses its accelerometer and it can sense if you tap the back of the phone and it can give a certain gesture to those taps. Now you can set it up to do two taps and your iPhone will do something. So I do two taps and it's a little laggy, you know, cause it is a beta, but it's supposed to move up and down like that. That's how the iPhone knows it's a tap. Um, but basically you tap your iPhone twice and it will do a gesture and you can choose to tap it three times and it will do a different gesture. So I'm gonna head over to settings and I'm gonna tap my phone twice and it's supposed to scroll down. You can see uh, this is what happens when you install a beta. There you go, look at that, that's pretty sick. So I tap it twice, and I've actually used this when scrolling on pages in Safari, and on top of that, what's really crazy is if you go to Tik, by the way, check out my TikTok, it's uh, more famous than my YouTube channel, so somehow, but check this out. Um, if you are on TikTok, you can double click the Apple logo on your iPhone, and it will go to the next TikTok. Check that out. So you don't even have to like swipe and stuff like that. You could just double tap. So this is a cool feature. I'm going to show you how you can activate it. And I'm going to show you how you can implement it with Siri shortcuts, which is the main point and purpose of this video. So I'm going to head over to settings and you're going to want to go to your accessibility. Scroll down. Actually, no, you don't. You want to tap on touch. So we're under accessibilities and you can see we went to accessibilities and then we went to uh, touch settings right here. Scroll down and you just see back tap. Now you can choose a double tap for a certain gesture that you would like or a triple tap for a different gesture. So I like to have them line up, you know, I want one to be scrolled down and one to scroll back up, but there is so much more to it. So for double tap, you can choose to have it open the app switcher. So I'm going to double tap my Apple logo and you can see it does that. You can also choose to have it do the control center. You can choose to have it go home. So I'm going to double tap and I will go to the home screen. Um, you can also see, uh, you can do the lock screen. So you can double tap the back of your iPhone and your device should turn off. You can have it do notification center, take a screenshot, shake. I don't know what shake does. I believe that's enter wiggle mode. Um, you can activate Siri. You can do spotlight search. There's so much. You can do volume up and volume down. That could be good for people with broken volume buttons, but this is where things get awesome with Siri shortcuts. Check this out. You can choose double tap to activate specific shortcuts, and you can also do triple tap to activate specific shortcuts, right? And this is where things get cool because in Siri shortcuts, ever since iOS 13, in Siri shortcuts, ever since iOS 13, Apple has allowed us to do certain automations and things like that, and they've added a whole new list of system settings that can be changed with shortcuts. So for example, it's just more than Siri shortcuts. I have a shortcut that says reduce motion. You can turn that on or you could turn that off. 
Well, if you really want, you can actually just set it so that way when you double tap the back of your iPhone, reduce motion turns on or off. You can choose if a Siri shortcut, you can set it so that way low power mode turns on or low power mode turns off. And the way you can do that is now you just double tap the back of your iPhone and low power mode can turn on or off. And this is why I think it's such a great way to utilize Siri shortcuts and the back tap feature on your iPhone. I think it is totally overpowering iOS 13 and previous version of iOS. It's just a great way to utilize all the hardware that's available on the iPhone because ever since Apple removed 3D Touch, that kind of stinks, right? But with this back tap feature, it feels like there's a, another element of the iPhone that's just been added, mainly because it's hardware that hasn't been utilized. So if you want, you can create a quick Siri shortcut that basically just says, like, if you want to do low power mode, you just do set low power mode, and you can have it turn on, right? And then this will just be low power mode. I'm just going to do LPM. You can change all this good stuff like usual. You guys know the deal if you've used Siri shortcuts before. Um, go. I'm just going to do an airplane because that's the closest battery thing I could find. Uh, do that, that. All right, check this out, right? You're going to go here, and you're going to want to scroll until you find LPM or whatever you named it. And when I triple tap, one, two, three, it should turn on low power mode. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that pretty sick? And this is just low power mode. You can have it set up to like, if you double tap, you could play your favorite iPhone playlist. You could double tap, you could open a certain app and then start playing music. This is only limited to what your potential is with Siri shortcuts. And I think that is insane because what you can do, there's an app called Routine Hub, or it's, it's a website, and they have hundreds and hundreds of Siri shortcuts. And so this double tap feature adds hundreds of new functionality to your iPhone if you pair it with Siri shortcuts. This is why this is such a huge, huge update just for this one feature. This is so cool. So. I highly recommend that if you do have iOS 14, please go check this out. This is so cool. And what's great about this uh, website, Routine Hub, is you've got access to literally hundreds and thousands of Siri shortcuts that people have made. The only issue is some might be supported for iOS 13 and not 14. So I know last year there was an issue with iOS 12 being compatible with 13, so I believe you know, there may be certain instances where that's the case in this iPhone update. But overall, very awesome update, guys. Please take advantage of this. This is so sick. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.